The case of Michigan assistant Connor Stallions took yet another turn. It appears to be Connor Stallions in a stiff brim hat. Some sunglasses at night, uh, standing kind of in the back uh, behind the O-line coach, yeah, in the, near a strength coach, uh, near a strength coach right there. It has been found that this may be Stallions dressed up in disguise on the sideline of Central Michigan. In which he's wearing sunglasses is Connor Stallions, the Michigan staffer who was at the center of the sign-stealing investigation. Again, these videos, what you're seeing there is that fellow on their sideline during a September 1st game against Michigan State. Michigan State, of course, plays Michigan later in the year. Michigan beats them 49 to nothing. This guy who appeared on the Central Michigan sideline in their season opener at Michigan State on a Friday night, this guy, is it Connor Stallions? That is what Central Michigan officials are trying to find out. The internet sleuths are claiming if that is indeed Stallions, he may be using videotaping sunglasses, as seen here from Ray-Bans, for example. The description would read, Capture exactly what you see and hear with the new ultra-wide 12MP camera and 5 mic system. Take high-quality photos and immersive videos and live stream it all to Facebook and Instagram. Michigan football program, Connor Stallions, and good old Jim Harbaugh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you might want to strap in for this one because the last time we talked about this, I thought it couldn't get any worse. And somehow, some way, it's gotten 20 times worse. I think the word I used last time I talked about this situation was unbelievable. Well, at this point in time, I don't even know what to say about it. Another point. Central Michigan rocks Adidas. The sneakers, the man we think is Stallions, rocked were doctored Adidas that came in the form of Nikes. Central Michigan's athletic director said in a statement that they are trying to investigate is this Connor Stallions? If it is, how did he get onto their sideline? Uh, they said he did not appear on any sort of pass list. And those things are usually fairly tightly controlled. In a story that seems like it could not get any worse, it did. I can't sit here a couple hundred miles away and, and say I know for a fact that Jim Harbaugh knew. But, it, but it's be beginning to be pretty apparent that someone in that athletic department and someone in that football complex knew what was going on. One thought I echo is this from Ari Wasserman. If that isn't Connor Stallions on the sideline at the Central Michigan game, wouldn't it be so easy to prove who it was? I feel like we'd know who the other person is already if it weren't him. ESPN reports Stallions wore a credential with VB on it, meaning visitor's bench. It gives access to the designated area between the 20-yard lines, which is reserved for players, coaches, trainers, and equipment staff. Schools are given a finite number of passes for each game. You know, before we go any farther, uh, we've obviously are aware of a uh, picture floating around so with the, the, uh, the sign stealer guy, um, you know, or people are doing everything they can to get to the bottom of it um, we're unaware totally unaware of it uh, I certainly don't condone it uh, in any way shape or form and uh, you know I do know that his name was on none of the passes that were let out CMU head coach Jim McElwain addressed the media on the debacle according to NCAA rules the team area during games includes a max of 50 non-squad members directly involved in the game. Those not in full uniform wear special credentials assigned to the team area that are numbered 1 through 50. No other credentials valid for the team area according to NCAA Rule 124B. Those digging on the internet found a video from that very game when a play unfolded right in front of the man many claim to be Stallions. He knew the broadcast cameras would go that way and appears to dip his head to not be seen. CBS Sports would print, Stallions is alleged to have created and maintained a network of staffers and contractors to electronically record sidelines of future Michigan opponents to steal signals. Records show that Stallions purchased and distributed tickets at 12 Big Ten stadiums along with multiple college football playoff opponents. Reports have linked Stallions a low-level staffer making $55,000 a year to the purchase of tickets to more than 30 college football games. A former D3 football player and coach told the ESPN Stallions compensated him to attend games involving Michigan opponents and record their sideline with his smartphone. Stallions has been suspended with pay by Michigan. I just want to remind everyone that while we're focused on this, don't forget the 10,000 foot view on Michigan, which is Jim Harbaugh self-imposed suspension for the first three games of this season. 
The FBI is investigating something at Michigan. Former offensive coordinator Matt Weiss and his computers. There was the embarrassing Shemmy Schemblecker situation. Okay, this is a fraction of a pile of things that have happened at Michigan. Yeah. So my question is, What's Michigan going to do about it? Stealing signals in game is not against NCAA rules, but scouting opponents ahead of time or using electronic devices to capture those signals is. Head coach Jim Harbaugh denies any knowledge of Stallions' activities. He's already under a harsh microscope, a separate NCAA inquiry regarding misleading investigators and illegal recruiting during the COVID-19 dead period has gone about. Stallions' time at Michigan from 2015 until now also intersects with various Central Michigan staffers. Head coach Jim McElwain was an assistant on Big Blue's staff in 2018, while defensive backs coach Mike Zordich was on staff at Michigan from 2015 to 2020. Albert Karshnia, Michigan's recruiting director, was brought on staff in December 2021. He came from Central Michigan. The questions that must be asked here are these. The questions that must be asked, and there are many. How did he get access to Central Michigan sideline? Who helped him in coordinating his gear? He wore the same exact shirt as team personnel and the coaching staff. It's odd. The least they could have done, though, is given him actual shoes. Seriously, what is the connection here? Someone had to have helped him out. Or the NCAA is just allowing anybody and everybody to go on the sidelines. As long as they cosplay as a coordinator or a coach or a staffer. Another huge question is this. If, if it is found through the NCAA's investigation that Jim Harbaugh had a direct line of communication with Connor Stallions and they were coordinating how they were going to go about doing their own signals to relay the opposing team's signals. What will happen? Me personally, knowing how there are huge dollars at stake, ad revenue at stake, eyeballs at stake, the collegiate football brand is good to have outside of, quite honestly, because they've been so dominant, Ohio State, and any of the SEC teams, okay? Having Michigan, a humongous brand with alumni all across the country, prestigious program, I don't think they do anything. I just don't. I just don't. I don't see how the NCAA, who still continues to crap on their own laborers by hiding behind the guise of student athlete in order to not pay them, will suddenly grow a spine. I just don't see it. The system is not set up that way. Now, there are many complications within this entire framework. Word manual, the connections to the college football, that's my kid, connection to the college football playoff committee. I just don't see them saying, you know, they cheated and we're going to toss them out. If I am wrong, I will come back here and say, I applaud the NCAA for having a spine. I just haven't seen it. I haven't. And lastly, let's not be so naive on this case. I have friends that went to Michigan. This is not an attack on you, all right? This is calling it as I see it. Because come for honesty, you're getting it. You're really going to tell me with a straight face, none of these guys had any conversations whatsoever with a dude who was stealing signs for years. College coaches will do anything to understand what they are getting themselves in for on game day. Anything. They want every single inch cover. All right? If they have this much of a leg up, you're really telling me with a straight face that none of them communicated with Connor Stallions when he has this plethora of knowledge. The former uh, army guy who specializes in ops, come on, come on. My opinion, the team benefited. They knew what they were getting themselves into and the chickens are coming home to roost.